the San Diego, California, Martin Luther King weekend here in this fine city. A parade this morning through the streets of downtown San Diego. There's the message. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got college basketball at the Jenny Craig Pavilion. Gonzaga on the road to play the San Diego Toreros. West Coast Conference basketball action. You're now inside, and now we take a look at the West Coast Conference standings. Gonzaga, perfect 2-0 to start. Pepperdine also there at 2-0. There you see San Diego. They open league standings with a win since they've lost two in a row. It's great to see everyone again. Greg Heiser, Craig Elo, and Craig, let's start by jumping back Thursday night. Moraga, California. What a game between Gonzaga and St. Mary's. It was a bloodbath. It was an epic battle between two rivals, and I tell you what, Sam Hand, he held up his end of it, but I thought that the Zags played him very physical, took him out of the game in the first half, but came back in the second half and had a huge night, even with the pressure that you see on him, the guy was able to score 31 points, but he couldn't match the effort of Elias Harris. Harris just was awesome. He did everything for the Zags. He was on the defensive end. He didn't get that one, obviously, but on the offense, he played above the rim all night long. He himself had 31 points, and I tell you what, I like this young man. Yeah, a six-point win by Gonzaga. Well, if San Diego can avoid a three-game losing streak, they're going to have to look to Brandon Johnson. This guy's going to have to be huge tonight. Brandon Johnson, he's the key to this offense. This guy takes all the shots in the, in the Toreros offense. You can see he's at 1,600 points. When he finishes his career here as a Torero, he will be the all-time leading scorer in Torero history, and it's because of plays like that that has made Brandon Johnson a guy that you got to be real concerned about on the offensive end. And it'll be on uh, Dimitri Goodson to try to slow down Good uh, Johnson if he can. Time will tell. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll get you tonight's starting lineups and the tip-off when we come back live from San Diego. Stay with us. Inside the Jenny Craig Pavilion in San Diego. It's Gonzaga now ranked number 17 in the nation on the road against the San Diego Toreros, who are looking to break a two game losing skid now inside West Coast Conference play. In San Diego, well, this is a, a wonderful opportunity for them. They can really resurrect the season with a win tonight against Gonzaga. We take a look at the starting lineups Goodson and Bolden and Gray, the guards for GU, Sacre and Harris on the front line. Head coach Mark Few now in his 10th season as the head coach of Gonzaga and he's uh, winning nearly 80 percent of his games. Here's uh, head coach Mark Few. Actually just over 80 percent now 80.1. And for San Diego Johnson Dor Jackson the guards the centers Mafra and Lewis and head coach Bill Greer now in his second season with San Diego a former longtime assistant with Gonzaga. We are underway at the Slim Jim. Greg Heister and Craig Elo. You know, I'm going to add a stat for you on that uh, Mark View in the West Coast Conference. He's 128 and 13 for a 90 percent winning percentage. And Sacre with the big block for Gonzaga. And now Matt Bolden with it for GU. Right to Harris. That huge game the other night. Little dump down now to Sacre, who can't finish. San Diego really collapsed in there defensively. Time now to take a look at the keys to the game brought to you by Northern Quest Resort and Casino. Craig? Well, the last time that the Zags played here, it was a 58-47 ball game. They want that tempo to be a lot faster. They want that score to be up in the 80s. And Hey, they got a mouse in the house. They're a small lineup. No one can guard Elias Harris down there. Go to him every time. And now Mafra running the floor well, and there's Sacre with his second block of this game. But San Diego looking to push the ball up the floor here. And then the last key, Greg, is Jackson and, and Johnson are both the main clogs of the uh, Torero offense. And it's going to be up to Goodson and Gray to just take those guys, or Bolden, to take those guys out of the ball game. There's Jackson. Ball on the floor taken away by Elias Harris and Dimitri Goodson. All speed in that guy. Here's Gray. Quick three 
from the wing is good. Gonzaga leads it three zip. And that was out of transition. The guards always go to the wings. That would be Bolin and Gray. Meach comes right down the middle of the floor, makes the defense collapse, gets the ball to a shooter. Jackson needing help. And here's Lewis. There's Brandon Johnson, number one, driving on Stephen Gray. Jackson off the front of the rim. And Stephen Gray now with it for Gonzaga. Harris wide open. Big dunk. Oh, Five zip Gonzaga. San Diego runs the same break, obviously, that Gonzaga runs because Billy Greer and, and Mark Few came up with it. So they got to recognize the fact that Robert Zachary and Elias Harris, if they get down on that initial break, where are they going to go? Right to the rim. You're gonna, that's where you're going to find Elias Harris. That's a breakdown on Torero's defense. Here's Lewis with Harris on him, and now Jackson. There's 10 on the shot clock. Bounce pass. Here's Jackson posting up on Goodson. And San Diego's in the books. 5-2. That was a nice job of reading the, the mismatch with Dimitri on uh, a taller Jackson. Went right to the post. They got a shell on the outside and got the ball into Jackson. There's Harris working on Lewis. A little jump step into the middle. Can't get it to go. And rebound by Mafra. Elias Harris, 31 points, 13 rebounds on Thursday night in that win against St. Mary's. This is Dorr. This kid can really shoot it. You can see Matt Bolden really out on him. Shooting nearly 50% from three is Matt Dorr. And here's Johnson. USD will try to take possessions deep into the shot clock as often as they can. Jackson again posting up on Goodson. Five on the clock. Jackson over Goodson missed everything. I like the way Meach plays defense, staying right behind Jackson, and then they're going to help. They're going to come from the high side to help down. But if Meach is right there with him and can contest the shot, then the Zags don't need to come down and double team. And our first foul of the game called on Jackson for San Diego. And you mentioned Doors, a good three-point shooter. There are some good, Chris Lewis is a good three-point shooter. There are some perimeter, but remember, the Zags had to play the perimeter against St. Mary's on Thursday. They are a good three-point shooting team, so the defense didn't have to change that much coming in here to San Diego. They know they got to get on the perimeter and make those guys take tough shots. Gray with a miss. John Jackson had to go out of the game there. He's replaced by Devin Ginty. Jackson with a bit of a bloody lip, so we'll get that stopped up and get him right back in here. Here's Lewis from 17. That shot's off. Sacre with the rebound. And again, Gonzaga looking to push. And you like what you saw in that defensive rebound. Three Zags had their hands on. Lewis with the rebound as Goodson was on the floor and actually caught a foot in the sternum. And it's San Diego basketball. So neither team opening the game shooting it well. San Diego one of six, Gonzaga two of seven. Gonzaga's I like his hit a three and then the dunk by Harris. I like what I see in the fact that uh, the Zags are going to full court press. That makes for an up tempo type of the game. They have to make San Diego try to beat the press and keep the game going fast instead of coming in and setting up at half court. San Diego would love this game to be in the 50s. They're number one in the West Coast Conference for points given up. They give up just 67 points. The lower the score, the better. Ginty having to work hard against Stephen Gray. And now Johnson into the paint. Left it for Ginty. A shooter from 17 and hit it. 5 4 Gonzaga. Well, Steven was helping on Brandon Johnson. He turned his head, and Ginty goes on the opposite side of him, and then he has to recover, and you do what you're not supposed to do, leave your feet. And Goodson with a chance for three. And the foul called on number 44, Roberto Mafra, the senior out of Brazil for San Diego. That's his first two on San Diego. There's a couple of guys on uh, San Diego's roster from Brazil, and remember, they were 